Hello everybody and welcome, welcome to Jim's 5am club and this morning I come to you from a beautiful Sydney location. I'm in the Botanical Gardens, the Botanical Gardens of Sydney and what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to do a little walk and talk style of vlog and uh, just walk through these beautiful gardens on this magical magical winter's day it's sunny it's warm and it's absolutely beautiful check out this it's just fantastic here in the middle of the CBD it's empty nobody around and you can basically come down here and have your 10 minutes of peace manicured lawns, trees, flowers, pergolas, you name it. It's all here, it's all free, and it's all available to the people of Sydney. All you need to do is uh, get off your bum, come for a drive, or a train ride, or a bus drive, a ride, and come and enjoy it. Anyway, Today, whilst we go on this journey, I want to have a chat to you about a topic which is near and dear to my heart. And today's topic will be on lag time. As a parent, one of the things that I learnt very early in, in my life, in my parenting life, should I say, was that there's always a lag time between the inputs that you give, your children, your friends, your family, your cousins, and when results start to take, take, uh, take shape. The big challenges in our life, for all of us, regardless of what age we are, is to uh, be able to understand lag time, to appreciate it, and to allow it to work for us. Too often we do things, we make decisions, and if we don't see immediate, magnificent, awesome results, we very, very quickly give up and uh, never ever get to see the fruits of the decisions of what we do. So from a, uh, when we look at our children or look at children, the point that I probably want to start off with is that as a parent, you're always giving children feedback, stimulus as they're young. So either you're encouraging them to do things or discouraging them not to do things. And there's a fine line between uh, too much encouragement and not enough encouragement. But the thing is, you, you never know. You will never know whether or not you're going too hard or too soft until it's usually too late. And the reason for that is because we have lag time. As I mentioned before, there's lag time uh, lag time from when when we create the stimulus and lag time to when we see the results so as an example if you give children too much free reign or too much encouragement or too much um, of everything they may turn into um, Children who, uh, who, uh, who expect too much. Um, they may become spoiled, as the old language used to describe it. A spoiled, a spoiled child. But uh, as I said, you won't know until months or years down the track whether or not the experimentation that you were doing as a parent 
works or doesn't work and vice versa. If you're always protecting a child and restricting it from doing this, that and the other, they may never develop well enough or strong enough to be able to, uh, to cope with the challenges that they face in this world that we have today. I'll continue walking and talking. It's just so serene here, it's just, uh, it's beautiful. There is a bit of a hum in the background there, the hum of the city, the hum of construction. There's a lot of construction happening down here in Sydney. It's, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a hive of activity at the moment with uh, building activity happening down here at Circular Quay. I've never seen so many cranes in the city at the one time, but it's, it's welcomed, especially now with COVID-19. The fact that the construction industry is still going pretty strong, at least here in the CBD, is something to uh, celebrate and be happy and proud of. So uh, getting back to lag time, how else does lag time impact us in our lives? It impacts us in many ways, in our relationships with our partners, our friends, our families, um, in the way we diet, what we eat, in our exercise programs. So let's summarize it again, that um, sometimes what we're doing, what we're currently doing, even though we know it's good, even though we know it's going to give us good results, at some point you start to question yourself and saying, am I on the right path? Am I going to uh, lose weight? Am I going to get fitter? Um, is my relationship going to last? Are we going to be friends uh, from a, a year from now, for example? But uh, I guess you need to have faith in, your, in the process, in the activity, in what you're doing, and basically um, use experience. And the you know experience that we learn from our parents and our and growing up, which seem to suggest that if you're consistently doing certain things, then chances are that consistently you will get uh, certain outcomes. Um, a lot of people these days don't really spend too much time consulting uh, other people's advice. They prefer to do their own thing, they prefer to experiment. And uh, what I'd like to probably touch on is that whilst experimentation is great, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to uh, Im the important things in life, if you're too much of an experimenter, then chances are you may uh, end up with a bad outcome from your experiment because you're dealing with uh, important things, you're dealing with people, you're dealing with emotions, and you're dealing with uh, uh, things that, um, that can, can change very rapidly. As we say, now you can fall in love in a heartbeat, but you can also fall out of love in a heartbeat as well. Um, so it's important to be careful and to take not a cautious path, but a proven path to, uh, to ensure that the things that you do, um, A, you're sure of what, what you're doing and why you're doing it, and uh, you are able to identify the outcome or the result that you're desiring, and then keep on questioning yourself whether or not the actions that you're taking are going to be leading you closer to your uh, desired result or further, further away. So it's important to have measures, it's important to, uh, to have a, a plan, it's important to be able to know what you're trying to achieve and then uh, on a regular basis uh, take note and see whether or not you're on track or off track and uh, if you're off track 
then you need to get back on track. If you're on track, then you need to keep on going on track and uh, keep on pursuing your, uh, your desired outcome. Anyway, let's finish up for now. It's been a beautiful uh, morning stroll through the botanical gardens. I will do a few more vlogs here over time. And let's uh, hit us up with our positive affirmation. I'm alive, I am well, and I feel absolutely great. To all my friends and family, stay connected, stay relevant, and most importantly, spare a thought for lag time. God's delays are not God's denials. Just keep on doing what you're doing. Keep your training regime going. Make sure you have a good eating plan. Be positive and engaging with friends and family and try and uplift and maintain and build your relationships. And uh, keep, on, keep, keep your positive reinforcement going with uh, young people and children and understand that they're growing and developing. They're going to be making mistakes, so you need to uh, um, understand that there are going to be mistakes along the way. Accept those mistakes and encourage them to keep on going and to follow, follow the good path so that they too can get to a point in their lives and be examples to other people, to younger people and even to older people about the beauty of life and uh, that one day they too can blossom into a magnificent garden like we have here. Just like the seasons of, in our life, this garden here wasn't always red. There are times of the year where it's green, it's brown and there's nothing much happening. But with steady, consistent care and, a, uh, and, to, and to stick to a path, you, you will too end up with a magnificent blossom, a magnificent garden of your dreams. And I encourage you to uh, keep on going, keep on going, keep on inputting, keep on working hard because the end result will be worth it as long as your ladder is up against the right wall and that you just keep on climbing one step at a time. Take care for, take care for me and until tomorrow I look forward to chatting to you from Jim's 5am club and we'll come from a different location, a different topic but uh, hopefully it'll be something that will be empowering to not only you but also to me as well. Bye for now, until we chat again.